YouTube, it's Bebop307 here, and welcome back to Niche. And oh my goodness, I miss these guys so much. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? But anyway, in the last episode we discovered a couple of things. One of them being uh, Rilare's real intention for kind of getting a little bit harsh and almost, you know, kind of being a bit bossy, ordering the tribe of Holly's Haven around and kind of sectioning off the guards or sentinel section or portion of Holly's Haven and the berry gatherers section or portion of Holly's Haven. So we kind of learned that she actually really wanted to go on a big adventure like her ancestors did. And she wants that for her children because she, I think she just, she wants to see more of the world and she hopes that her kids will someday be ready to see more of the world. Um, and so she's kind of getting a bit pushy, you know bit pushy kind of anybody who doesn't have two collecting doesn't sit by a berry bush they go exploring and anybody who has the claw right they are in a sentinel or if they aren't a sentinel they will definitely be paired up with her lovely daughter Anais well maybe it depends on the genes oh there are so many things that you have to look out for but in the last episode, our wonderful, wonderful new heiress, Anais, was born. She had the lean body and the claw, which are two of the things that her mother, Rilari, really wanted, and she only has one day left. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is her last day. This means that her child, Anais, is going to have to take up. Take up. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, we need it. She needs to have a baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was a change of plans, but uh, it's happening. Can you dig up anything? No. Alright, so let me continue on with what I was saying. Oh, goodness. So, uh, turns out that she's actually going to be telling her daughter all of these stories that she heard. And maybe this whole time I had no idea, but she was talking to Anais, explaining to her and telling her that you are going to take over the clan and you will do great things and you will you'll take us to a brand new land full of different wonders of different things and new creatures to to meet and introduce ourselves to I think she's she's just filling her head with the same dreams the same aspirations and Anais will probably feel very similar to her mother about this and really want to explore and so she might be a bit more pushy a bit more forceful not necessarily mean but really just serious about setting people with two collecting skill and above as berry gatherers and trying to get more warriors into the family which luckily her brother Vankook here is another one with the claw which will help us a lot let me double check our mutation menu okay so the mutation menu is gonna stay the same for their baby I have been a bit risky with it but that's okay whereas Kirta oh gosh Kirta Cuckoo Razmi, let's see, and Kuduk. All of them have spiky body. And that is because Rara has it in her recessives. And that is, it is literally just her who has it in her recessives. Where Vanta, sorry, <laughs> Vanta, I think this is Vanta. Who's Vanta? I have a Vanta, don't I? I swear I have a Vanta. But um, anyway, her recent daughter, her latest daughter, finally got lean body which is perfect which means we have a chance to start breeding up some more of those healthy lean bodied creatures and I believe Van Kukir and Little Sequoise have different immunity genes? Yes they do! <gasps> this is perfect! Oh it's wonderful we already have our next pairing and I think they both have perfect eyesight. No he does not but that's okay. She has stinky tail maybe I could start pushing that a bit more with them too. But anyway, so now we know. We know why Rilari wants to travel to the next island, and unfortunately, she won't be able to. But she has the hopes that her children, led by Anais, will someday be able to travel the world again like their ancestors so long ago. And another thing that we learned in the last episode was why shell collectors are so attracted to the water. And Lakora, goodness, she has been traveling along the shore collecting these shells since she was a little, little little baby Neechling and she probably doesn't regret a thing honestly I don't think she would um, not to mention she's the first Neechling to see a waterfall and she's been I think she's just been so happy out here she has absolutely no regrets but yes 
And another thing is I have discovered a good way to organize gems. Our, um, our guard clan, they are going to be a, uh, their gems are going to be red, which means I need to switch Von Von's over. And blue gems, I think it was blue gems? Blue gems mean they can breed. And, I don't know, was it green gems? No, blue gems mean they can breed, and red gems mean they can't. So let's take a look at her. Yeah, so let's switch her to all red. She can't breed. He can breed, but I don't know who I'd breed him with. And Von Von can also breed, so let's go ahead and switch his gem to blue. And I think I found Rocco someone? Who was I gonna... I was gonna breed Rocco with someone, I just can't remember who. Was I? Am I mistaken? I think I'm... I think I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see, but she, uh, she has traits I do not want, so I'm going to put a red gem there. And Cookies and Cream is actually healthy, but he has that digger's paw, and I don't want that digger's paw. However, I do think I was going to move him over here to breed with someone, and I actually think that was Sikois, but the thing is Sikois now has uh, Van Kukir, and Van Kukir is a lot healthier except for the short size, but he has more of the traits that I want, but he also has the digging paw. Ugh, ugh. But he, he only has the claw though, so actually, I guess you are going to get to breed. You're a lot healthier. You are a lot healthier than he is, so let's put a blue gem there. But all right, and there is a bunny. There is a bunny. I think Ducta would probably be mildly offended that the bunny would dare trespass onto the place of his beloved ancestor, Flower. This would be probably a very respected resting area because, again, I think I already touched upon this, but I believe Flower would have definitely been talked highly of among her brothers, and she'd kind of become almost a legendary figure in their eyes. Kind of like how Porky is a major figure in their lives. She's probably a big inspiration to Rilare, actually. You know? Porky being one of the ancestors that traveled over, and not only that, but explored for most of her life. I think I think she'd definitely be a big inspiration, even though Rilari never got to meet her herself. So, alright. I have talked a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's have everybody collect up their berries, and Razmi is following the rules. Komi now kind of being ejected from the duty of berry picking, which I don't think she minds too much because she was getting so stressed, so stressed trying to gather up all the berries. I think she's just fine trying to find dig spots to collect roots. I think she's happy with that. And speaking of roots, I believe Kiro Duke was also searching for a bunch of them. He is actually part of the guard clan, although he is not going to be a breeder, so I'm going to switch his gem to red. He might be later on, but that really depends on how few males we have and if I can't find any other healthy pairing choices. And Kukir. Kukir is also not perfectly healthy. He has a short-sighted eyes, but he doesn't really have too many traits that I want. Um, we have immunity G gene elsewhere. We do also have the immunity B gene elsewhere, so I don't think he's going to necessarily be a big breeder, but he probably won't mind traveling around and helping out with berries. Uh, he might sit over here to kind of help his little brother out anyway. Because Rota, he's having quite the big family here. However, in this turn, I think he'd be very relieved to know that they won't be having any more children. I think Rivara probably wants a little bit of a break herself. I mean, having so many kids can be quite, quite a handful. Especially spiky kids. But... No, yeah, I think spiky kids would probably very, be pretty tough, you know, because they're so prickly. <laughs> I'm so funny. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. But, okay. Cuckoo actually has two collecting, and he should be sitting by a berry bush, but I think he's going to ignore that and come up here to clear out some of the grass. Because he's a rebellious kid, and he just he doesn't want to be stuck all day at a berry bush. He wants to kind of explore, see what he can find, maybe hunt some rabbits. He certainly would much prefer that to staying stuck at a berry bush all day. 
Unlike Kirta, who I think would be perfectly fine with it, he probably really likes berries and just sneaks a couple, you know, as he's gathering some, just slides a few into his mouth, no problem, like, oops, I just dropped him in there, I don't know what you're talking about. And then we have these two adventurers who probably aren't as aware of the whole berry gatherers, you know, thing going on and are just exploring because they want to, which is actually what Rolare probably would have asked them to do because they don't have collecting. Um, and she and Ronuro are just going to continue on their way, clearing out grass, probably going to come back through here to see if they can find anything else. And they have cleared a path out to this tree and found a permanent nest, which is pretty nice. However, I don't think we're going to be here long enough for that to really be of much use. And, oh my goodness, Nuvanyu. You and your brothers, um, you and Tiger's kids, I believe Anako was also their mother. Anako's and Tiger's children have been so loyal to this berry picking area. I think some of them might be a little upset that they aren't going to be able to help anymore. I mean... I think Komi would be kind of relieved because she was in charge of two of these berry bushes and she was always feeling like she couldn't really help out and she's kind of happy that some other people, that some other nichelings are, you know, they, they're able to come over and kind of take over the berry bushes and she's kind of able to relax, dig in the dirt and just kind of have fun. But I think Nuvon might be a little bit offended that he's not, a, that he's kind of being told to shove off his own homeland. So he'd probably try to stick around, maybe help his brother Nuvanyu up here clear out some of these berry bushes and kind of ignore that rule just a little bit. And alright, Vanta. I knew we had a Vanta. I knew we had a Vanta. I was right. Vanta's just, I think he doesn't really care much either way. He's just going to collect up some berries and gather up the regrowing grass. Probably nibble on it. Do you think they would nibble on the grass? like? Not necessarily eat it, but you know how some people like just kind of having that wheat strand sticking out of their mouth, kind of just to chew on it? Do you think Vanta would be that kind of nicheling? That'd be kind of interesting, you know? Plus, it would be kind of fun to make like little grass bracelets out of the growing grass. It's such a pretty color. But anyway, we also have little Rocco over here, and I think before she was kind of really told to go and collect berry bushes, she would just be clearing out the grass like she and her brother used to do. And Cookies and Cream is actually, actually gonna, hmm, I think he will come over to meet up with Sikhois. The only thing is, I mean, if, if Van Kukir had the lean body, I would have had them breed regardless of the short-sighted eyes, but he doesn't, so that's not gonna happen. And his brother Dukirvan is actually gonna continue on and collect, probably look for roots himself because like his brothers, he doesn't have to collecting, so his mother has probably told him, you know, you guys, you don't have to collecting skill, you need to go, you need to explore, gather up some grass, some nesting material instead, and kind of look for roots, and that's what you can do. So he probably, that's probably like rooted deeply in him, it's like you don't have to collecting skill, you don't gather from the berry bushes, but if you do, you can. Speaking of which, I should look among here, and see who is breedable, who isn't. But we'll do that in the next turn. We have a baby to look forward to. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Hello, Erlara. Please be healthy, please be healthy. Please. Uh, oh, no, Diggerpaw. No, none of the mutations of the mutation menu took effect. Ah, see, the moles came out again because they're so shocked by this, this weird happening. But she is pretty though. Cora, you are pretty, don't we have a Cora? No, we have a La Cora. Oh, Cora, you poor dear. At least pretty much all of her children ended up with warning dots. I think every single one of them did, so that's something. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and change Anaisi's gem. And let's put this to blue because she's definitely going to breed. The only thing I'm worried about is hemophilia, though. I really wish you could get rid of it. It's just... Uh, let's see. Is there anyone she can breed with that has normal hemophilia? Okay, so the berry gatherers seem to have normal hemophilia. They are a lot healthier than our sentinels. Um, is there, is there, I would breed her with one of them. It's just I hesitate because they have the spiky body and it's so important that we have the lean body. But it might help a little bit that she has a lean body and if I put it in the 30%, menu, like 30% in the mutation menu, probably should come through just 
just fine, just a-okay. All right, let's go around, let's see. What do I need to do? All right, so Anais, at a very young age, has been told that she is to take over and Roman clan, and luckily she has her father to help her out. He's going to show her the berry collecting, gonna help her remember the rules, and just gonna help her, just kind of be there as, you know, support. Just help her out, and I think, I think she'd do just fine. I think she'd do pretty well. And Cisco, Cisco has been working really hard to keep her family happy, to expand their territory, to keep things going, and Nunu, um, I think, I think she might have kind of snapped at him and told him to get back to the berry bushes to help out because she's not supposed to collect them, but everybody with two collecting is. And she might come up here and kind of let Rocco know, it's like, hey, you should go collect some berry bushes. And Rocco, not knowing this, probably not liking it, but she'd be kind of confused, like, oh, is this what you do here? She'd come down and she'd help out, a little bit confused. Probably won't stay for long, I don't think. I know I was gonna breed her with someone. Wasn't I? I mean, she's not the healthiest though, so I don't think I will breed her. But she's gonna come down here and she's probably gonna help. I don't think she'll help for long though. Like I said, I think she much prefers exploring because that's what she used to do with her brother all the time. And her brother, I think it was Kukir? Yeah, it was Kukir that she used to help all the time. All right, so Von Von, uh, looks like you don't have a berry bush to gather, but you do have a, oh, okay, my fault. I scared the mole. I'm sorry, Von Von, I thought you'd be able to get him from there. It was my fault, I'm sorry. But um, I think as Anais's first act as the new leader, oh, 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 can she get it? <gasps> she can, get the bunny. She will get the bunny and prove her worth as the Sentinel's leader. Because, I mean, they have strength, they're supposed to be the hunters and the protectors. So I think it would make a lot of sense that she's able to do it. What's kind of funny is that she's actually, she's not that strong. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be a step in the right direction because we can start getting claws on more of our creatures. And if I can find her a good pairing, if I can find her a good pairing, we might be able to really make that make that show more. And I think her father would be pretty proud of her. I might have him sit over here to clear up some more of the darkness, but yes, I think she would have her siblings spread out, tell people to spread out, to clear out some of this darkness, because I don't think she's happy with it at all. She doesn't like the threat of it. So I think, let's see, is there any roots? There's some roots over here that you could go ahead and dig up. I think she might have like, ask Kiro Duke to move around, dig up some of the roots, and kind of clear up some of the darkness a bit. And let's see, Komi, are there any roots nearby for you? I mean, there's some right there that you could collect. But I, th mm hmm, you know what? Yeah, go ahead. There's a couple of roots here, and I think she's. I don't think it matters where the roots are. I think she's just happy that she doesn't have to deal with the berry bushes anymore, because she was. Um, she kind of just wants a little more of her life, and she probably finds digging in the dirt way more fun. And let's see, Rara, you and Rota are actually going to have another child. Luckily, Sequoise finally has a lean body, which is perfect. And hopefully we can have some more lean body children, because if we have a lean body male over here, you can bet, regardless of whatever genes they may have, I am probably going to breed them in a nice because I need to, and hopefully they have normal blood clotting, because that would help a lot for us to just clear things up. But I think Rara's gonna go ahead, come up here, breed, and then sit in the nest, and her daughter, Rizmi, is going to continue helping with the berries, and Rota is going to probably, well, I think his son Kuduk would get here first and collect the berries, I fear Rota might start wondering what he's doing, feeling like he's missing things, you know? Move around to all the berry bushes, like there's only so many and there's so many creatures that can collect from it. He'd probably start feeling a little bit confined. And Nuvon is definitely not happy about this because he wants to help out with his family's land. And because of the new rules that are sort of being enforced, he can't. So I think he's going to look for more berry bushes around this area, try to kind of take over them where while everyone else is sort of 
being told you gotta take over the land here. I mean, cause Rota's family, they aren't necessarily, they aren't really related. I mean, they're cousins, right? But they're not necessarily his family's family, right? They aren't Anakos or Tiger's children and this isn't necessarily their land, so he probably feels a little bit unhappy about that. But there's not too much he can really do, so I think the biggest thing he tried to do is set up at a berry bush. And honestly, I don't think Kukir minds that much. He might kind of slip away now and again and let Nuvon just take over the berry bush because you know what? He doesn't need it. He doesn't. And he's just there to help his little brother kind of cement himself. And speaking of berry bushes, it looks like Ducta has found another one. Wonderful. And little Cuckoo, he's just continuing to explore up here. And oh, <laughs> there was a mole. I didn't see it. I should have sniffed. Should have sniffed. Remember, guys, always use these other sensi modes. You gotta make sure to listen to smell. Isn't it? I'm sorry, this is... Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Kuvan! No! He's been so helpful and so adorable. What was his napping and all... Oh, I think he, on his last day, he'd be more than happy to help clear out the territory for his family. Oh, this is terrible. Ugh. Ugh. And Lare, she's getting old too. Ugh. I think she and Ronuro... I think Ronuro might try to convince her to come back this way help clear out some of this grass and I think it's a good decision because we found a berry bush and another bowl which I totally missed and so they're finding some good resources over here if a little family kind of wants to make a bit of a getaway from the new sudden leadership going around to kind of hide out here with their berry bush and everything else that they might just want to sit here and just kind of relax you know just kind of be away from it all because it is a sudden amount of pressure to be put under when you're not used to it because they aren't used to this kind of leadership this kind of role that little Anais has been told to take you know and that Rolare was kind of taking so they aren't used to it but they're probably gonna have to get used to it because honestly uh, when we get to the jungle we're gonna need some good leadership because we want to be really careful because there's so many so many monsters and and, and other stuff, and I think the Kirvan is going to ignore the normal thing, and he's just going to collect some berries because he's probably tired of sitting around. And, ah, Lakora, you know what? I think she's going to ignore the bunny because it's not, I mean, the shells are more important, and since it's not as important to her, she'd probably just collect the shells and be just happy with that. Oh, who's going to be the next shell collector? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else would be the next shell collector. We're gonna have to see. All right, so we have another we have another baby that we have to look forward to. Oh goodness, we have so many creatures, so many creatures, and it's not even thirty creatures, but that twenty eight is a lot. It's a lot to take to kind of look at and maneuver and just think of. But I do have to think of what I want for these guys, and I think we want the stinky tail. We definitely want the stinky tail and we definitely want lean body. So instead of putting claw, I'm going to put the stinky tail and we're going to zoom in and we're going to seriously hope, seriously hope that we do not get a spiky bodied baby. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Oh no. No. Did I just, I, I swear, I just heard a carnivore. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. You, no. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Why? Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, uh, did you hit anyone? Uh, and Lare's last day, too. Really? Do you think he was just coming out to say hello? To kind of sit with her on her last day? Who knows? He's a carnivore and he's scary and he shouldn't be here. Oh, this is worrisome. How much do you have left on your life? 15 days. Alrighty, okay. So it looks like we have a surprise here, and not to mention, we also have a, well, it's not that big of a surprise anymore, another spiky body baby. Ah, I guess that's not too bad to have. It's just, I would much prefer lean body, because I think they give you more scentless too, like, see, odor disguise, right? But if we go to here, yeah, like... It's way better to have lean body because they'd still be a lot faster and I could put double claw and the ram horns would be just as strong. 
you know, just be a, be just as strong as, you know, the spiky body. And the spiky body makes our creatures a lot slower. Ugh, you guys. We have an issue. We have an issue with the spiky body. The only reason why our creature- Well, how much speed does it give you? Yeah, it doesn't give you any speed, so that's gonna be mildly annoying to deal with. But at the very least, we do have a nice start. We do have a nice start. We're finally getting somewhere. We're starting to organize things more. Anais has taken up the mantle of leader, which is quite an unexpected turn to everyone else in the in Holly's Haven Holly's Haven tribe. But um I think I think we're doing pretty good, except for the fact that we're still getting spiky body creatures where we're at. Why? But what I do need to do is I need to find Sequois a really good mate. And I think that was actually cookies and cream, so I might have to start moving him over. But we'll think about that in the next episode, and then we'll we'll think of what to do with this little guy, this carnivore, in the next episode too. But anyway, if you guys have any tips or suggestions or names you want me to use for our creatures or just any ideas in general, I would love to see them. But I hope you guys like the video, and I want to thank you all for watching. But I gotta be bopping on out of here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.